today on CityCast Denver. It's finally getting really hot out there this week, and these late summer 90 degree days can be brutal. So how or where can you cool off? From free to luxury, we're sharing our best recs for beating the heat in the Mile High City. Today is Thursday, August 17th. I'm Bree Davies, and here's what Denver's talking about. Producer Paul Caroli, hello. Hey, Bree, good morning. And producer Olivia Jewell Love, hi. Hi, Bree. And of course, newsletter editor Peyton Garcia, hi. Hey, Bree. So we are all here to talk about how hot it is, because if there's anything people in Colorado love to do, it's talk about the weather. Um, But we're finally (laughs) hitting. (laughs) It's really it's like the legit thing we talk about all the time. Um, But we're hitting that that summer, late summer stride of total bananas temperatures. It's been pretty cool the last couple of months in a surprising way. So I think as these temperatures are hitting the 90s, I think we're going to freak out even more about how to deal with it. Do you guys agree? 100%. I looked at the forecast. We are only at the beginning of this thing. Hmm. So that's why we're here. We want to figure out or we want to share with our listeners some ways that we've come up with uh, to keep cool. So maybe you don't have air conditioning in your house or maybe, I don't know, you're like me and your swamp cooler is like really not cutting it. But um, also sometimes it's just nice to get out of the house, but it's really hard to do when it's a million degrees outside. So we've come up with two different categories of places or things you can go to or do to stay cool. Our first category is how to stay cool for cheap and or free. Paul, do you want to start us off with your idea? I'd be happy to. Um, So mine is a little bit of a journey because my actual answer is chuck a folding camping chair in the cherry creek and put your crocs on and then just go hang out in the shade in the water and wait around which is magnificent on a hot day however there's green algae in the cherry creek reservoir so you know enjoy the creek at your own risk but unfortunately when i saw that hold on paul wait before we go Mm -hmm. uh, before we get into that i just want to just want to acknowledge how colorado you just sounded i know i wanted to say that too Thank you, oh, Peyton. Yeah? Rocks. Yeah, you were like just you just like said it no so nonchalantly. You were like, you know, slap on your put on your crocs, get in the river. <laughs> just you've come so far, I, I Paul. I have become I have become one of you. All you needed to say was grab your craft beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Or your joint, whatever your jam get your is. Your IPA. <laughs> so just congratulations, Paul. You've made it. You've arrived. Thank you. Um but But back to your actual uh, suggestion for keeping cool for cheap and or free. Yeah. So there's one place that um, you're going to have to book ahead for next year. This is a think ahead thing because (laughs) they they require months to book a tour ahead of time. But it sounds really cool. The National Science Foundation Ice Core Facility. This is in Lakewood. They it's like a laboratory for ice. They get ice core samples from all over the world and it's like a giant freezer and you can go walk in there and see all the science and talk to all the scientists wearing their parkas and it looks really cool, but that's a 2024 idea for you. So I am recommending (laughs) the Colorado Iceworks, which is a company based in Englewood that supplies custom cut ice for cocktail bars and large cut custom ice for ice sculptors. I guess you never think about where those come from, right? I've seen those ice sculpture competitions. That ice is not naturally grown in the environment. Someone yeah, no makes it. No one's climbing a mountain to hack that off of a glacier or anything. My freezer's not big enough for that. <laughs> well, the freezer they got down in Englewood is. It is a 20 degree, 1600 square foot freezer. <laughs> Uh, They don't have any retail space. Um, I talked to someone on the phone. They said they'd be happy to give you a tour. Maybe you can see a demo, watch someone do some ice sculpting. But honestly, this just sounds really cool. This is where they make that like crystal clear ice Mm. for like fancy cocktails like um, L5 and Tavernetta and Death & Co. According to 5280, all get their ice from Colorado Iceworks. Oh, so so these are like... They make the ice that like goes they in fancy drinks. Yeah, is like what the you're spheres saying. and the cubes. Mm-hmm. Oh, the more oh, you that's know. Cool. Okay, I love it. Yeah, go have a nice um, adventure. <laughs> Olivia, you're next. What's your free and or cheap way to cool off? All right, guys, hop in the Subaru Outback. <laughs> We're going to IKEA. Ooh. 
That's a good oh, one, Olivia. No. That is a good one. So oh, I have to push back. No, <laughs> but go ahead. All right, you Give haven't even s- heard what we're sorry. doing at Ikea State yet. What are we doing at State Ikea, Olivia? We're going on an Ikea scavenger hunt. Hmm. Oh. So I found a million of these, which I think is super funny. And I love it. And all ages, all ages. So you just pull up your friendly, your friendly Pinterest board and search search scavenger hunt I, ikea scavenger hunt and then you can find all these lovely lists or you can make your own so taking pictures of different stuffed animals finding something with the funniest name um finding six of the same colored object just like as far as your imagination will go and just that is a day to spend in ikea because you don't even have to spend money when you go in ikea you can just hang out in there all day eat lunch in there you had ikea lunch have a nap on your bed of choice yeah (laughs) hit up those massage chairs yeah yeah. i mean who's gonna notice you in there all day you can blend in just just Um, look scandinavian well uh, (laughs) paul that would be you paul go right ahead i I would enjoy a day at ikea an intentionally uh, nothing day at ikea yes just spend the time it's cold in there you know, they've got it cranked up. Can I send one of you guys to do my Ikea return then? Because I can't bring myself to go back in that place. I can't stand it. Wow. We'll talk off mic. <laughs> I, love, <laughs> I love having a purpose. I think this is the genius of your idea, Olivia. You go in with a purpose. Seriously, get your iced drink or go pick up something at the Ikea food hall. And then go walk around and find all your all your silly tasks on your scavenger hunt. We'll share Olivia's favorite uh, IKEA scavenger hunt Pinterest board in our show notes. <laughs> if you want to know which one she goes with, uh, Peyton, what about you? Yeah. Okay. So my free slash cheap option. Um, so it's it's free that you don't have to buy anything, but it does require gas money. That's so okay. it's a little bit of a cheat in that way. But my answer when when it's really hot and I'm trying to get out of the heat and I don't want to be running my AC all day, uh, I hop in the car and I head up to the mountains. I head to the Big Thompson and I just find a nice little pool off spot. It's a great place to fish if you're a fisher. Um, we string up the hammock. We sit in the trees. It's just the elevation makes it just a little cooler and you're in the shade mm. and you can spend you can be up there all day long. And if if driving is not accessible to you, uh, check out the bus staying Pegasus shuttle. That's um, that'll Good take call. you up. Yeah, it's like 20 bucks and it takes you up from Denver to a variety of mountain towns. It doesn't have to be the big Thompson, um, which is, by the way, near Estes Park. Just saying. If you want to swing by us, this, grab some lunch, go into the shops. Um, yeah, just get out. Go into the mountains. Love it, Peyton. We're so on the same wavelength. Feet in the creek. That yeah. is the way to beat the heat for free in Colorado. Pack a book, yeah. pack a hammock. It, it really is. Bree, I think that means it's your turn. It is. It is my turn. And uh, uh, originally I was going to say, I was going to say go to the mall, but that's like an obvious one. Who doesn't know you go to the mall to cool off? So my other idea is um, there are a ton of free days at museums around the city. Pretty much every month you can find one. So it takes a little bit of planning, kind of like Paul's. But the first Saturday of every month at MCA Denver is just a penny. Um, the next free day at Clifford Still is this coming weekend. Uh, the dam has one coming up on my birthday, September 9th. And Museo de las Americas is free every first Friday. So I also think this is a good... Sometimes I... I have a hard time getting out of the house, even though there's an exhibit I really want to see really bad. So let this be your motivator. Grab one of those free days and uh, go check out one of the museums. Enjoy our art. And honestly, those places have to be cool because you have to keep art at a certain temperature. So (laughs) yeah, those places are always cold. And I think just like with Olivia's, I think that's such a good pick, Brie, because it's, it's an activity that will take you several hours. Yeah. You have to kill some time. And uh, there's a lot of... Reese's birthday this- bash at the museum. <laughs> there's a lot of options. <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll have some more ways to cool off in this bananas hot weather. This episode is brought to you by the Regional Air Quality Council. Hey, Denver, did you know that the Front Range's most pressing air quality issue is actually invisible? 
Created from pollutants like car exhaust that react in sunlight, colorless, odorless, ground-level ozone is a leading cause of respiratory problems in our region. But there's good news. You, yes you, can take some simple steps for better air this summer. It's as easy as just skipping two car trips a week by combining errands, carpooling, biking or walking where you need to go, and working from home. You could even take the bus or light rail for free through August as part of RTD's Zero Fare for Better Air initiative. Maybe also consider swapping out your old gas-powered lawnmower or leaf blower for a brand new electric one. They're fun, easy to use, quieter, and better for the environment. And if you sign up for ozone alerts from Regional Air Quality Council by September 15th, you could win a brand new electric leaf blower or weed whacker of your own. To sign up for ozone alerts and for more ideas on how to improve our local air quality, visit simplestepsbetterair.org slash sign up for alerts. That's simplestepsbetterair.org. And we're back and we're talking about ways to cool off in Colorado. We just went through our free ways or cheap ways to do it. And this category is literally I will spend any money to cool off. I won't think money is no object. How do I cool off in and around Denver? Uh, Olivia, do you want to start this one? Yeah. So I'm going tubing in Golden. I will pay any price. For the tube that they are going to gig me for, I'm going to have to pay, you know, some silly price to rent a tube. I don't care. I'm paying for it. I'm going to float down the river, but I'm going to buy a super expensive lunch, probably at the Golden Mill or somewhere over there by the river. I'm going to do the dumb pour your own beer thing where it's mostly foam and I spend $30 on half a glass of beer, but it's very novel and I'm so hot that I don't care. I will pay whatever they want because they have the misting fans in that place. And I will mm. I will pay because I am desperate. I love So I will pay fan. what they want. Me too. Yes, it's amazing. Especially after you've been tubing, perfect. And then they've got the ice cream stand. At that point, if I've had a couple beers, I want a lot of ice cream. So I don't care what they're asking. I will buy the triple scoop. You will trip scoop it? I will do it. it. So any, any add-on. And then, you know, if it's it's been a long day and I'm sunburned, like maybe I'll stop in one of those tourist shops and buy like a new t-shirt because my shoulders hurt and I can't even I can't even think about going home in like you know my crusty swimsuit I'm like no I'll buy a new t-shirt like today is about me today is about beating the heat and today is about luxury so I will I will pay the price that Golden asks me to I don't just know if you guys this. have an answer to this maybe you do Olivia are there like special shoes for the river that are expensive Oh, definitely. Crocs. Yeah, because <laughs> Crocs fall off your feet and then they yeah. float away. Uh, no, you put them in sport mode, ma'am. <laughs> okay, now you Do sound you not... like my husband. Uh, yeah, you get Chacos <laughs> or Tevas. Ah. I have always for. done it. I've always done it in my Crocs with my Crocs in sport mode. Just if you've got any gibbets, take them off. You don't want to lose those guys. And... <laughs> Yeah, I haven't had a problem. Okay. I was just thinking of other ways you could spend money to enjoy the river. <laughs> how can we make this day more expensive? Yeah. You could buy yourself. How about you buy yourself a new pair of Crocs just for the river? There you I go. Match your swimsuit. Match your friends. Get a pair, like get friends matching Crocs for your day on the river. I, I could get into that. I, could I would do that. it. I would 100% do it. I did it on a trip to New York with my two best friends. We went to the damn Crocs HQ and we bought Crocs. So <laughs> it's not beneath me. <laughs> I love it. So we're going to Golden and we'll give them everything and we won't be sad about it. You are going to go spit. You are going to go enhance the economy of Golden. All righty then. All righty. Uh, well, Peyton, how would you cool off if money was no object? Oh, yeah. My bougie beat the heat recommendation. I'm going in for a triple feature at an AMC theater. The bougiest of AMC theaters. Are you going to camp Love there? It. Love it. Three yeah. movies? Yeah. You're going back to back to back. That's like oh, it's like 10 hours to kill in a movie theater. They're always way too cold. You pack your blankie. You got the cushy <laughs> seats that recline. Some of them vibrate. I want it to be so cold that I have to turn on the butt heaters. <laughs> Plus Wait, got, they have butt heaters? Yeah, at the super fancy <gasps> AMC. And then you've got full access to the snacks and the mm -hmm. beverages. And I mean, I love, I love going to the movies. And if I had all the money 
I would just spend yeah. the entire day there. If I had this all the money opulence. and no responsibility. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that you're leaning into the ridiculousness about movie theaters, which is everything costs a gazillion dollars. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. why yeah. not? So Drop. is this going to be like Barbenheimer Paddington 3 or something? Or what's what's your, what's your triple feature? Oh, God, I don't Bar- know. I have a newborn Barben- now, so we don't go to the movies. I, I couldn't tell you what's new right now. <laughs> But um, I did want to share that I was looking at movie theaters and I found this piece um, in the Denver Post from John Winslow and he actually just wrote it earlier this year and he rounded up the all the different movie theaters in Denver and what makes them awesome. So like oh. the Denver's comfiest movie theater, Denver's prettiest movie theater, Denver's like historical, most historical movie theater, best parking, best menu and service. Um so it was a really it was a really cool little read. So if you want to post up in a movie theater all day, check out your options. I recommend an AMC branch where you have to spend twenty four dollars for a ticket. <laughs> okay, uh, Paul, if you could spend any amount of money, how would you cool off? All right, Brie, I'm going to spend one hundred and seventy three dollars, and I'm going to buy it. something. That's it. That's all I need. I mean, maybe a little course, bit. Does that include tax? In twenty twenty three money, that's like not that much. <laughs> that's like maybe a small grocery trip shipping will be expensive this is you're going to be ordering a bulky package so brie you mentioned earlier a phrase that um if you grew up here you oh. just like didn't it didn't mean anything to you because it just went past and it was second nature swamp cooler but yes. for people like me who moved here who are transplants maybe from somewhere <laughs> that's less arid a more humid climate yeah. you're used to turning on the ceiling fan to cool down that doesn't really work yeah. here so what you need to do is you need to get one of those swamp coolers that pumps water into a fan. And uh, I recommend the Hessair MC18M portable evaporative cooling fan. You can get that for $173 on Amazon. Maybe a little cheaper at Home Depot. That's where I got mine a couple years ago when my AC busted. But yeah, swamp cooler is like an essential purchase for the hot times in Colorado if you don't have AC and uh, enjoy. Just get one. Enjoy it. This model's great because it has a little hookup for your hose, so you don't have to like lug water back and forth. You can just oh. connect it right to your hose line, flip it on, lie down in your couch, and just sit there all day. And enjoy the cool air. I like that oh. perk. I remember I, my mom used to make me and my siblings fill the swamp cooler when it ran out, and we would have to fill up like a pitcher, and mm-hmm. I'd be sloshing water all <laughs> over the carpet as I tried to get wow. it up, so I could tip it in and of course it took like six pitcher fulls so i had to fond memories Peyton, you know what i just want to ask you something really quick because you grew up here too i i recall growing up like no one had air conditioning like you literally did go to the mall to have air conditioning because we didn't no one i knew had it because it i don't know if it just didn't get that hot or yeah that's a that's a good question i guess i never really thought of it i feel like most people i knew also had swamp coolers yeah, that was just kind of that's what we did. Ours was huge. It was huge, and then yeah. you would fill it up, and you'd stand right in front of it. And it was See, yeah, this is such a foreign concept to me. I come really? from the humid lands. I mean, we had we had central AC, but we also had a little something called the attic fan. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think Bree, it's your turn. You got to bring us home. Your most opulent okay. way to beat the heat in Denver. So. One of my favorite things about staying in a hotel is cranking up the AC, climbing under the blankets and watching TV. And I was like, you know, you don't often get to do that when you're in your home state. Why would you be staying at a hotel? Right. Unless you're going up to the mountains or something. But I thought, OK, if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to go stay in a hotel for one night in Colorado, I'm going to go like all out. And so I am recommending the Great Wolf Lodge in Colorado Springs. Most famously, I would say it has an indoor water park, but it also has a putt-putt course, ropes course, an arcade. Um, like, it, to me, it's one of those places that I bet is so air-conditioned you have to wear a hoodie inside, which is like You, you would bet ideal. correctly. You would bet correctly. <laughs> to make one, they need to make one in Denver. I think they should bring one out. I'm proposing by the airport because then, you well, know, you come in. they have one kind of, except for it's out. Gaylord of the Rockies, that giant you know, I hotel want, has a water park too, but it's, it's I want outdoors. Name brand. So. I want name brand Great Wolf Lodge. I'm not compromising for my opulent day. Okay. Well, that's, this is our call then to Great Wolf Lodge. Please build one in Denver. Please build one for me and give me a VIP pass <laughs> forever. <laughs> 
I think, okay, well, I think that rounds us out. We've got eight good recommendations for beating the heat. Uh, But we want to hear from you. How do you cool off when Denver gets crazy hot? Uh, You can call the Beat the Heat hotline at 720-500-5418. Leave us a voicemail with your name, neighborhood, and your idea. And you might hear it here on the show. This is so great. I, I feel like I'm walking away with so many good ideas. I feel the same way. I just want to wish everyone the best of luck here. You know, it's going to get really hot. Yeah. We need to come together and make this, make this the coolest August we can. See y'all at Ikea. <laughs> Thank you, Paul, Olivia, and Peyton. I will see you at Ikea. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today here on CityCast Denver. If you enjoyed the show, why not take a minute to tell the owners of the Great Wolf Lodge about us? Rate the show five stars wherever you get your podcasts and subscribe to our morning newsletter, Hey Denver, and learn more about us at denver.citycast.fm. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more news from around the city. Bye-bye. It's so hot, I might go to Waterworld. Just kidding. I'm not going to Waterworld. Pirate's Cove for life now. I'm a Pirate's Cove guy. You heard it here first. (laughs)